Are you a teacher who likes to play Pokemon Go? Or are you simply looking for ideas to use in your classroom that may incorporate the game? G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to Mathematics in the News for another week. So what is Pokemon Go? Well, it's the latest iteration of the Pokemon game. Pokemon simply stands for Pocket Monsters, where people search out the monsters and kill them. In this latest iteration for the Apple iPhone, it uses the camera of the iPhone and the GPS contained in it, so players can move around in the real world and see video of their surroundings with monsters overlaid on top, and then they search them and kill them. It's been incredibly popular. In fact, it's broken the record at the Apple iTunes Store for the app with the most downloads in the first week of release in the store's history. In social news, in a Sydney suburb, residents around a local park were upset at lots and lots of people coming to their suburb to search out monsters, and they even started using water bombs, and councillors wanted Pokemon to change their game to remove the Poke Stop, I think it's called, uh, that attracted people there in the first place. In the White House, a reporter was called out for using the Pokemon Go game during a briefing. And in Brisbane, players of the game were warned not to engage in illegal activities in the real world because that will get them in real trouble while their heads are down engaged in a game in the virtual world. But what about education? Can you use Pokemon Go in the classroom? Does it have any relevance to students' learning? Well, it turns out that it does. And Google, in fact, has indexed 15.8 million pages to match the term Pokemon Go education. So you may like to have a look and see what's there. Basically there are ideas across the curriculum and there are claimed social benefits such as getting students to see the real world in a new light. At this point I'd like to make three points. First of all, children and teens absolutely love playing computer games. They're just incredibly popular. Second of all, jobs in the IT field are absolutely booming. Because computers are taking over more and more functions that we used to do without computers, there are so many jobs available in that market. And third of all, you would not get a job in programming or coding without a really strong foundation in mathematical understanding. So this is a real way to connect your students' current interest in game playing with future plans for a career in the field of IT and maybe even programming the next popular game. So it's a way for us to answer the perennial question, when am I ever going to use this math again? If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Just click this button here and you'll get notifications when new videos are released. You can click on these links over here to watch other videos and you can visit our website. It's profpeat.com for quality resources for teaching K through six mathematics. Remember that even though to the world you may be just a teacher, to your students you are their hero. That's it from me and I look forward to talking to you again in a future video.